There is nothing you cannot be, there is nothing you cannot do, there is nothing you cannot have. You are the most magnificent, the most remarkable, the most splendid being God has ever created. But who could reject such wondrous magnificence? But you do not know who you are. And you think you are a great deal less. I tell you this, you are your own rule maker. You set the guidelines. And you decide how well you have done, how well you are doing. For you are the one who has decided who and what you really are, and who you want to be. And you are the only one who can assess how well you're doing. All you see in your world is the outcome of your idea about it. Do you want your life to truly take off? Life will take off for you, then, when you choose for it to make a choice like you just decide you have not so chosen as yet you have procrastinated prolonged protracted protested now it's time that you promulgated and produced what you have been promised what it's going to be who you're going to be how you're going to do it just decide your world would not be in its present condition were you to have simply listened to your experience the result of your not listening to your experience is that you keep reliving it over and over again. You cannot resist something to which you grant no reality. The act of resisting a thing is the act of granting it life. When you resist an energy, you place it there. You attract not just what you fear, you attract what you feel, what you are. The more you resist, the more you make it real. Whatever it is you are resisting, what you open your eyes to look at disappears. That is, it ceases to hold its illusory form. If you look at something, truly look at it, you will see right through it and right through any illusion it holds for you, leaving nothing but ultimate reality in your sight. In the face of ultimate reality, your puny illusion has no power. It cannot long hold you in its weakening grip. You see the truth of it, and the truth sets you free. Only when you say, I did this, can you find the power to change it. It is much easier to change what you are doing than to change what another is doing. The first step in changing anything is to know and accept that you have chosen it to be what it is. You are always in the process of creating, every moment, every minute, every day. How you can create will go into later. For now, just take my word for it. You are a big creation machine. And you are turning on a new manifestation literally as fast as you can think. We really do paint our world with our thoughts and, and our level of self-belief. You are a threefold being. You consist of body, mind, and spirit. You could also call these the physical, the non-physical, and the metaphysical. The process of creation starts with thought, an idea, conception, visualization. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Everything you see was once someone's idea. Nothing exists in your world that did not first exist as pure thought. If you have a clear picture in your head of something that is going to happen, a, a clear belief in that it will happen no matter what. Thought is the first level of creation. If you can see it here. Next comes the word. And you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. Everything you say is a thought expressed. It is creative and sends forth creative energy into the universe. I wrote myself a check for ten million dollars for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years maybe, and I put it in my wallet and I kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff, and, uh, and uh, but then just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million on Dumb and Dumber. Next comes action. Actions are words moving. Words are thoughts expressed. Thoughts are ideas formed. Visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's that the thing. You, you can't hard. just visualize yeah. and then, you know, go eat a sandwich. Go first to your highest thought about yourself. 
Imagine the you that you would be if you lived that thought every day. Imagine what you would think, do, and say, and how you would respond to what others do and say. Every second of every day I was daydreaming. Put the new car up on your mirror. Put the weight you want to be on the refrigerator. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. So, do you want your life to take off? Begin at once to imagine it the way you want it to be, and move into that. Check every thought, word, and action that does not fall into harmony with that. Move away from those. When you have a thought that is not in alignment with your higher vision, change to a new thought, then and there. When you say a thing that is out of alignment with your grandest idea, make a note not to say something like that again. When you do a thing that is misaligned with your best intention, decide to make that the last time. And make it right with whomever was involved, if you can. I stayed true to my dreams, and by doing that, eventually they came true. This will require tremendous mental and physical effort. It will entail constant, moment-to-moment -moment monitoring of your every thought, word, and deed. It will involve continued choice-making, consciously. This whole process is a massive move to consciousness. What you will find out if you undertake this challenge is that you've spent half your life unconscious. That is to say, unaware on a conscious level of what you are choosing in the way of thoughts, words, and deeds until you experience the aftermath of them. Then when you experience these results, you deny that your thoughts, words, and deeds had anything to do with them. I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big. What dream or vision do you want to turn into reality? There is nothing you cannot be. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot have. If you are going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. If you are going to try, go all the way. There is no other feeling like that. You will be alone with the gods, and the nights will flame with fire. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All the way. All the way. You will ride life straight to perfect laughter. It's the only good fight there is. If you're going to try, go all the way.
person you want to be. The moment when the path to a better version of yourself becomes clear. So you step up to the plate. You set your goal and ignore the easy way, the path of least resistance. You're doing this the right way and take on the challenge to be more, more than you, your friends, and your family ever thought possible. You know what you want and you know what you need to do to achieve it. Your pounding muscles and loosening joints tell you that you're right. You're on your way now. Your heart is pumping.